619, welcome back. The shooting death of Fargo police officer Jason Mosier earlier this year touched a lot of people, but it especially affected families who consider Jason part of their Blue Line family. Law enforcement families say Jason's death has forever changed them, but an organization specifically for spouses of officers is providing much needed support for those who love the men and women behind the badge. The round and Painting here. can be therapeutic. And this group is focused on healing. Fraternal Order of Police Auxiliary is marking its one year anniversary by painting this blue line flag. Rachel Mosier was a charter member of the group, not knowing how important it would be less than a year into its inception. We knew that this is a possibility that could happen, and we wanted to make sure that, that we had things in place in case it ever did. Rachel says the auxiliary was the first group to reach out to her when her husband was shot and killed while responding to a domestic situation in North Fargo in February. Fellow police officer wives rallied around her. There's a lot of people that don't know what it might be like, or they don't have that risk that their spouse might not come home at the end of the day. Having other people that understand that and can be there for you if that were to happen, it, it's a totally different perspective than somebody on the outside that just says, yeah, that would really stink. The death of another officer is actually what drove some Fargo police officers' wives to start the auxiliary. In March of 2014, Police Lieutenant Jeff Scusa took his own life, and rumors of poor morale at the police department quickly spread. While the law enforcement community mourned Scusa's death, something was stirring in the hearts of several wives, starting at his funeral. I think we all felt a little lost. We wanted to do something. We, we wanted to get together and, and talk about it, but there just wasn't that um, ability to connect and communicate with everybody. Mary Moen so says through her grief, she knew there needed to be a better support system. Angie Johnson says the funeral was a tipping point for her. One of the reasons I remember thinking that we need to do something is I remember standing at um, Scusa's funeral and um, in the lobby area and my husband, of course, with the rest of the officers. And I remember looking around and thinking, you know, we're all so connected in such an interesting way. Yet a lot of us didn't know each other. We had our little, you know, we kind of knew, you know, here and there. But I remember thinking that's so sad and it bothered me. Angie signed on right away to help start the auxiliary. And the group has proven crucial for her family. Johnson's husband was called out to the scene of the shooting that claimed Officer Mosier's life. I wish that I could just take that away for him. Because I don't know how you would go, how would you be at a scene like that and then just be okay? The next day, you know, that was a friend, it was a co-worker, it was a brother. She is the main support system for her husband, and she says the auxiliary now supports her. God forbid this should ever happen. This be you, you, we have support, and we have each other a little bit more so than maybe we did before. So I feel that the auxiliary has just given so much more support to myself, and, and I'm sure other people would probably agree. Although the loss of Officer Mosier still hurts, Angie says the auxiliary has helped ease the pain. And Rachel Mosier is vowing to stand strong with the auxiliary in case the worst ever happens again. I have a totally different perspective now that, that nobody else in it does. Um, so I think I, if this were to happen again, I definitely feel like I would be one of the people right there to say, I, I actually know what you're going through and I'm there for you.